do anything. I am about to get crazy. No fee, you chump. What the hell am I doing? She's her. Leave me alone. Yep, that's that's how it's done. Congrats. <laughs> Do you know or remember Genji from Overwatch? Well, this is him before his revamp and his upgrades. Anyway, we're going to be covering some of the ways to play Kensei and some of the things to watch out for as well as weapons, armor, abilities, and ring. All the exciting stuff, so stick through and I hope you enjoy. Can Kensei, aka the Sword Saint, use a katana? Well, of course he can. Kensei shears the katanas alongside ninja and samurai. Katanas stand out from daggers and swords, possessing a higher damage output than dagger, but also having a longer range than sword. Additionally, they can pierce through targets to clear groups. All take katanas fire a single shot and have a projectile speed of 13 tiles per second and a range of about 4.7 and shots at multiple targets. Other katanas are relatively the same unless explicitly stated otherwise. For example, your enforced katana which shoots over two shots and doesn't pierce but deals the highest out of any other katana in the game. This might rub people the wrong way. But uh, I personally think this is the best mobility ability in the game, you know? And I'll, uh, I'll explain why. Have a faraway enemy in the realm? No worries. Just dash to it. Need to rush a dungeon, but you're afraid of your health dropping? No worries. You're invincible. Enemies all grouped up on you? No worries. Show them what he can do. It's sort of like the no you of ROTMG. When you think you're going to take damage from an enemy, all you got to do is dash over the top of them or dash away. You pick, damage, or leave. Not only this, but when the Kinsei hits an enemy during the dash, it gets a stack. Each stack basically multiplies a certain stat, so for example for tiered sheets, this is always attack. But for other sheets you can get health, def, dex, speed, and even vit and whiz. That's pretty much all the stats all in one. I'm sorry mana, but I'm sure your time will come soon. Heavy armor is used by Kensei and provides a high amount of defense, but tiered armors lack any additional bonuses. That said, it isn't exactly a bad thing that it provides no bonuses but a lot of defense. And here's why. With the diving of a boss as being the driving case and actually having a lot of multipliers on your attack dex bonuses, it isn't exactly a bad thing to have a lot of defense or a lot of health. Seeking out tiered items, breastplates of new life, fungal breastplates for example, might not actually be a bad thing and would prove useful. Now, if you're going for attack and damage and you know how to dodge properly, the obvious choice probably goes to glad guards and in a latter case would definitely go to mercy as well. If you can't achieve any of these or you don't have any of these, try settle for fire dragon battle armor. Another armor that you can use promptly which might be worth your time is the resurrected armor. You can actually use this with the volcanic sheath which goes ahead and gives you a whiz bonus. The higher amount of whiz you have, the more damage you deal with the sheath. You can use this with other items, maybe even it works with a geb ring. Give it a shot, try it out and test it. When it comes to rings, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Now, having an HP ring is very high value, but really you could use any ring you want. In terms of tiered rings, you have the attack, def, speed, and dex, as well as whiz, which are also available to you. You could also use MP if you would like to, but MP and vit wouldn't really be as valued on Kensei. When it comes to UT rings, having O3 tops are pretty amazing when it comes to it, but if you can't do any of these, stick with the tiered rings, they're just as good. Now as of now, there is only one ST set available for Kensei, the ST Tidal Wave set. And it is bloody awesome. I love it. I think I give it a 10 out of 10 for aesthetics. Um, in terms of viability and using items, the armor works really well with the ring. Uh, there is no excuse really for using the ring on its own. It's quite terrible, but that's all ST sets in general. Um, using the ability on its own does a decent amount of damage as you dash on it and also spawns a tornado to deal you a little bit of extra minion damage as well, which is stackable up to three tornadoes. Uh, to justify using the katana, you can use it. It is better than the quartz cutter, but it falls under enforcer and tier 14 almost. 
but it gives you a lot of dexterity along the way. So in terms of using this set, I would definitely agree with using it, and I think that you should definitely give it a try as well. And that's a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I really appreciate you watching this far if you got this far. And uh, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed so far, liked my videos, commented, and uh, joined the Discord. Uh, there's a Discord available. I post updates on there. I even do competitions. Uh, there's going to be a new competition that's going to be coming up very shortly to celebrate 300 subs. Uh, and I'd like to say thank you, everyone, for that. Um, I feel like I'm growing unbelievably fast and I'm so overjoyed uh, and I really love making these videos so just let me know what one's your favorite and which one you would like to see next. Give me ideas and um, maybe I'll feature your idea in the next video. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna roll the outro and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace.